Hi guys, this is uh, Anthony with Single Wide Life. Give you a little uh, information on what I did as far as getting internet back here to my property. Um, little background called Charter. Not able to run the internet this far. It would cost like seven grand or something crazy. Um, my parents actually live about 1,000 feet straight through the woods that way. Um, and what we ended up doing, did some research online. There wasn't a lot of videos to help out, so I figured I would make a video. Um, my wireless router is just on the other side of this window. What I ended up doing, did a lot of research online, um, tried Wi-Fi, tried um, lots of different things, could never get it to reach a signal through the woods. I said it's around a thousand feet. Um, so what I ended up doing, purchased some uh, ethernet cable. The first batch came from the internet. You gotta be careful when you're ordering on the internet because a lot of those are not, they're, they're copper clad. You wanna make sure you get the full copper wire. Uh, I actually buried it um, from the house up into the corner of the woods where I'll show you where it comes back out of the ground just for uh, when the grass does start coming in, we can start cutting it with a lot more. Um, the first cable is the ethernet cable. It's just a standard, this is not one I ordered offline. The one I ordered offline first, like I said, was a copper clad. Couldn't hold the signal that well to get to the through the uh, woods so i ended up going to lowe's uh, you can buy this this was uh i want to say it was cost me about 130 dollars this is actually not rated for outdoors but this has been out here for about six months now still doing really well haven't lost any signal um and this is what i'm going to get to this is just the standard orange drop cord a um, hundred foot in length i had 400 feet of these they're actually strung together um and buried um and I'll show you what we got going on down in the woods.